Hey everyone, thank you so much for clicking on my video. Today we're using the Fuji X-T4, the Fringer EF to FX Pro 2 adapter, the EF-S 55 to 250, the EF 28 mm the EF 50 mm Raw edits on Capture One Express. They're organized by ISO. And at the end, a little cinematic edit. So let's get started with some of these photos. If you have questions or just feel like saying something, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit the like button. I would very much appreciate that. It helps with the algorithms and with my videos. And check out my channel for more videos like this. Camera videos, photography videos, filmmaking videos, you name it. It's there. All you got to do is check it out. I took all these videos at night, um, just as the sun was setting into full darkness, which is not exactly in my comfort zone. And these higher ISOs, especially when we start getting into the 6400s, 8000s, 10,000s, that's way out of my comfort zone. And I wasn't very comfortable with uh, color grading this stuff either. I found myself wanting to get all of the luminance noise out of the shots. Um, and then increase the brightness and the saturation as if it were a daylight shot and it wasn't which was kind of weird kind of a paradox because usually in my daylight shots I don't have any luminance noise and I go add film grain to it to make it look like it's got noise so there you go so definitely just out of my comfort zone having to fool with these images and videos I think they came out all right and to be honest with you a lot of the JPEGs looked good um, I didn't use any of them here, but a lot of the JPEGs straight out of camera looked really good too. Anyway, it was interesting and I'm going to do some more of this. I have some ideas that I want to try out. Uh, in a few of these shots, I used a diffusion filter. Uh, I don't know what its rating is. I just know that it's a super duper high diffusion filter, like right here. You see it right there diffusing to infinity and beyond. And that was interesting to play around with in these shots. There were a lot of others that I didn't use because the diffusion was just ridiculous diffusion. Um, but fun to try fun to play with anyway i hope you liked the video and don't forget at the end of this video or close towards the end of this video i took several of these photographs and i made a little cinematic edit with them because i'm a firm believer that you can make cinematic videos with photographs if you you know Use some dust overlays, use some of your uh, video effects and your images. Make sure that you're panning and stuff like that. Make your light rays move around, all that kind of good stuff. Anyway, enjoy. Well, that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate it very much. Please, please, please hit the like button and I will see you next time.